going on YouTube? Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's going on? How's it happening? What's going on? What's popping? What's happening? Sorry, but for me, I was my train of thought. How are y'all doing? Oh, he must have went and picked up something. That's what he was looking for the place. He's on Facebook Marketplace. He went, that's that grill I seen on Facebook Marketplace that I was going to buy from the name. Oh, okay, he went and bought that grill. That's why he was driving all funny back there. I was, I'm sorry, I was just on a TikTok and um, I was live and this guy was driving in the middle of the road and I didn't know why he was doing it. And then he, um, I, I walked past and then he backed into the place. I thought he lived there, but then he pulled out with a grill and I seen that same grill on Facebook Marketplace. Bingo! That's what it was, right? Just figure it out. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my uh, new subscribers, my old school subscribers, my TikTok family. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. You know what I mean? I appreciate the likes, the shares, and the comments. Listen, I want to talk about how you as a healer and you go through your process, how um, when you realize you're a healer and you realize, you know, what energy you're operating in and whose energies you're allowing yourself to operate in, it really changes the game. And it is something that you got to realize on your own. No one can tell you. No one can save you. No one can tell you. No one can be like, hey, you know what I mean? No, you got to kind of figure it out. Now, others like to get somebody to spoon feed them, but I don't like no one spoon feeding me because once they spoon feed you, they're able to turn around and say, I'm your daddy or I'm your mama, right? And you don't want that. You know, God will let you know who to listen to, who's humble enough to take the information from and other ways of getting information. You really should just be looking from within like meditation and whatnot. But we'll talk about that in a second. Members, I got a video coming. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Um, shout out to my, uh, you know, um, my overseas gang, 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 my replay gang, 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 and uh, my unsubscribe. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, appreciate y'all. That being said, listen, y'all, um, I can't wait to get back into it. Um, I appreciate y'all the likes, shares, and the comments a minute ago, but that's the reason why this the, the channel is still going. And while I've been in the transitional process and kind of in the wrong kind of energy, not knowing whose energy I'm operating in or what mood, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You guys held me down while I figured it out. So I was going to say thank you. Um, but now I know, right? I've tested it here throughout the past couple of weeks, um, sending others' energies back to them, uh, calling back my energy, and I recognize this energy. You know, when you're um, operating out of somebody else's energy, it throws you off and you're uncomfortable because, you know, and then when you get yours back, you're like, Ugh. it's like a suit. You know what I'm saying? And then you're back in your business. You know what I'm saying? But it's, you know, I mean, I had to figure it out, you know, but like, as I, you know, kept meditating and praying and just unlocking other, you know, um, using the keys and unlocking other, you know, doors and stuff in my head, I'm just able to see what it's really just about unlocking things and, lifting the veil it's an illusion it's a lot of illusions and a lot of mind traps you put on yourself based off the system that we have to deal with and the only way to break that is to get out in nature and you realize that all that system stuff these ills um being stressed about having to pay them uh them sending you reminders for no reason that's systematic it's, it's to cause you to constantly be stressing you know you already paid it why are you sending me this you know through email through text you know what I mean? The um, AI on your phone is obviously some way sentient. So it'll send you stuff to have you subconsciously worry. And like, why are you talking to me about testicular cancer or something? Because why are you sending me this stuff? You know, like to program your subconscious mind. Once you figure this stuff out and you start operating outside of the system, meaning you put that phone down and you go out in nature and you just figure it out. You're not using the phone to Google everything to figure out whatever. You're figuring it out on your own. And you realize that everything within you, you don't need that crap. And that crap is programming you every single day. You don't even know it. But the lone wolf knows it. You know what I'm saying? The lone wolf knows it. You know, the sigmas know it. The sigma empaths know it. The sigma males know it. The sigma uh, ladies know it, right? And we get out of the system. Now, when you're breaking out of the system, sometimes the system will send you a narc, which is their ultimate uh, nemesis. In the video game of life, you have to defeat this narc. You have to do it in the most divine way, meaning not, you know, the same retaliation of smear campaigning. Never mention their name. I need you to understand that. Never give that narc the credit to mention their name. They're just an ex or ex-spouse. 
that was part of your uh, life learning lessons. But they're not no one to be mentioned in the name to be given that kind of credit and also to be shaming their name in that level. I've never mentioned my ex's name. I never will. If she does it, that's her problem. I don't do it. Right. I'm going to give her her space and I'm going to give her her um, privacy by not doing that. Now, I mentioned a lot of stuff that has happened, but I do not mention names. OK, because we operate differently. You know, now that I realize that a lot of energy that I was operating in wasn't mine, that a lot of that fear it, it was being projected onto me. It was, you know, the ex and other people watching me, but I didn't know how to interpret that yet. I had to figure it out. Now, could I have gotten a teacher and that teacher could have told me what's going on? Yeah. But what else would that teacher have told me? How else would they make me feel like I need to kiss their ass? You know what I mean? Like, you owe me now. I am your God. No, no, no. God will tell me who to go to, who to speak to, and how to figure this out. And I would not have somebody, because a lot of times people do that, y'all. They take your power. They'll take your power by claiming your power by the minute, you know, something good happens in your life, that teacher, that coach, that whatever will take credit for it, will want credit for it. So now something that you achieved is no longer yours. It's someone else's. And you're part of their movie. You don't need to do that. God will teach you what you need. To, hey, has someone been there to tell you what to do the rest of your life? No. So why do you need someone to do it now? God's got you. God will show you what you need to see. God will lead the people in your way. If there's someone that he needs for you to be learned from, you know what I'm saying? He will send that person your way. They will be humble. You'll know. You'll do it. But otherwise, most of the time, it's going to be just little snippets here and there. Right? These people out here, they have, they have other intentions on things. And you know now that you're operating inside of an energy, energies that weren't yours. Right? They were just people that are watching you or trying to be in your energy. But now you know how to put up, put up your protection stuff. And, you know, you know, like, okay, when I rise, I don't feel this way. When I speak to my son, I don't, I don't feel this way. It's only when I'm doing certain things. That's someone else's energy. And you know how to send that back, how to call your energy back, which is calling your power. Because when you call your energy back, it fits like a suit. You know, you feel comfortable in it. And when you're comfortable in it, you're able to give that kind of energy to people. You know, for example, like on this video, I'm about to give you for the rest of the video, my normal calm energy, which I've been kind of trickling in throughout the video, but for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna give you guys my normal calm energy. The same kind of energy I give my son, the same energy if you guys are calling me up and you wanna talk about whatever, I'm giving you the same energy now. You know you feel a difference in this energy. You know you feel a difference in this energy. I'm a healer. I had a dream last night, you know, about me healing, about me being in front of a bunch of people, you know, speaking, and people just being able to get all of the healing they needed from that. And then I rose, and I, you know, I'm telling you guys that these apps are kind of, you know, AI is kind of sentient. Anyway, you know, the first YouTube video that popped up and TikTok was about healers. You know what I'm saying? Figuring out that they're healers. And I'm just like, ah, that's it. I don't need to go through the video. The titles alone let me know confirmation. Okay? So, being as that is, I knew that I've always been like a healer. Everyone that's around me heals. I healed myself. I just healed myself from a tragic breakup. I knew that I had to let that version of me die. Right? I learned what I needed to learn from the man. He served his purpose. I had to let that version of me die. That way I wouldn't have that heartbreak tag along with me for the rest of my life. I learned a lot from it from him. He gave me everything I needed. I'm talking about him. That's me, right? The, one, the version of myself that died. You know, he went through all that, but he was too ego-driven, so he had to go, right? Gone. And if you think of it like that, that's why I think of it. Whenever I shed an old version of myself, I learned what I need to learn from that version, but I let it go. When you hold on to those versions of yourself because you think you're holding on to your true self, you're not. You're holding on to programming that's been sent your way that you think is your true self. But shedding those selves and realizing the error in those selves, that's when you're really becoming your true self. I'm getting it down a little while I'm in the middle of talking to y'all. Come on now. Come on, y'all. Do you see what I'm saying? Can you not feel the difference in the energy in the way I normally be on here? I just got trolled on TikTok, and there was some lady in there going off on me. I realized she was trying to project her energy onto me, trying to change the trajectory of my day, my mood, by trying to put her energy onto mine. I sent the energy back to her. I kept my energy and I hopped right on here 
and here we are. I'm, I'm growing every day. You know that we're just uh, souls having a human experience. I am not perfect. I'm not. And I know I've, I offend a lot of people. If I got a teacher, could they have taught me? Yeah. Could have uh, expedited this, but then I'd have also been like, well, what do they want from me? Maybe they wouldn't want anything. And maybe as soon as I got big, they'd be like, yeah, well, you know, I taught him such and such and such. Well, I don't like that. Because if I teach anybody anything, I don't care what popularity they get. I don't want no credit for nothing. You uh, use me as a vessel to learn. I was just coming along your path. It was preordained. I cannot take no credit for that. But these weaker-minded, ego-driven people will. So I appreciate the fact that God tells me, don't listen to anyone. Don't get advice from anyone. Don't get any coaching. I'll coach you. I'll coach you. It might be painful. It might take a little bit longer, but I'll coach you. But the lessons learned will be, a, you know what I mean, forever lessons learned. I won't even learn them again. So that's where we're at right now. And that's where y'all are at right now. Okay? So I just know the direction I'm going. I'm a healer, y'all. Y'all know that I'm a healer. You know, I realized it through the last couple of weeks where I've been trickling into you guys, like some of the energy that I give my son and my friends. And then I'll go back to my normal uh, YouTube, kind of my defensive mode from all the trolling. And there's a difference. I can see collectively other YouTubers and TikTokers that are on, you know, the same frequency as me going through the same crap and channeling this crap and being like, this is energy. We're all trying to get rid of it. I'm like, shit, that's, I'm like, I think that's me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, I can't be. But as soon as I shedded that shit, these same people be like, it seemed like we're getting into a better place. Like, okay, all right. Well, if I know I'm a healer and you know I'm a powerful healer, then maybe you know a lot of what they're channeling might be for me, and I got to make sure that I'm like you know keep my energy where it needs to be at, which is high vibrational. This look, I can be irritated, get off the uh, video here and go inside and play with my son. Why can't I do the same thing on the video? Why can't I do the same thing? I need to be stronger than that, and that's what I'm doing. Like if God gave me the ability, I don't care what anybody else thinks. I can see it. It's always been this way. I've always I've told y'all I work somewhere and it's a Ford dealership. Right? All the stuff I'm saying to you guys, where I live at now, everybody took their tax money and got Fords. I'm a healer. Right? And instead of me taking it like like I was in defensive mode, like I'm a healer. That's healing to people to go and buy a Ford to feel like, you know, comfortable and maybe they feel like they'll feel like I do when I'm in mine. I, I, I got to take responsibility for it. You know what I'm saying? So I can sit around here and project my negative energy on everybody. And think that it don't matter, but it does matter because I influence people and then they'll have negative energy and then they'll make content with negative energy. And then it's, it's being circled back to me and I'm wondering why I'm the, I'm the cause. So if I start projecting that in the positive energy, then whatever I watch in the collective will be positive energy and it's reciprocated and we're all going, you know what I'm saying? That's what I want. So, you know, you learn. You learn. I learn through my dreams, right? I know when I'm learning through whatever comes to me, it's something real. So I'm like, I'm a healer, you know, like I told you, I said, I had that vision. I'm just like speaking in front of people, like, like just speaking about life and just being my happy, my happy self, just be, and people like really enjoying it and learning something from it. The same way people do when I speak to you guys, like one-on-one, when I'm like um, doing those sessions, when I'm talking to y'all, like y'all are always like, oh, really? Oh yeah, that's, oh wow. And I learn from y'all too. You know what I mean? Like I'll talk to some of y'all and I'll get some stuff too, but you guys were always like feeling like, you know, better afterwards and kind of coming to these epiphanies and stuff while we're talking. And then I can kind of see, also when I'm talking to you guys, I can kind of see where the problem's coming from. I can just see it. And then I'll, I never tell you what the problem is. I'll try to guide you there. So you kind of like through asking questions. I don't know. I kind of always been doing this. Like with my son, like I never like go to my son and be like, hey, we're eating this. I'm like, hey son, what do you want to eat? And I can look at him and tell he doesn't know. And I'll be like, well, take a couple minutes and, and, you know, decide. And I'll give him, like, a few options. Like, You're probably thinking about these right here. And I'll leave. And he'll be like, yeah, I want that, you know, when I come back in a few minutes. Because I can tell he don't want to be put on the spot. I can tell, right? And I don't want to put him on the spot if you don't want to be put on the spot, man. That's a, my son is a young king, man. I need to let him know that, hey, this is your world, man. I'm, I'm here to guide you along the way, but I'm not here to uh, cripple you into thinking that my way is the only way. That's not my job as a parent. He is his own king. You know what I mean? It's my job to guide him and let him know, like, look, man, you, know, you make your own decisions in life. You do, you uh, use your discernment and your intuition from what everybody says, even what I say. 
And you make sure if it sounds right, you roll with it. If it don't, mm -mm. I don't care who it come from, me, your mama, whoever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I told him, like, you follow God, you don't follow no man, period, no woman. So, you know, all that stuff being said, and I just, I don't know. I just, I, it's like certain things are just unlocking. I, it's the best way to describe it, certain whatever in my head is unlocking, and I'm just, you know, like realizing, like, okay, I can go down these, these go through these, these doors instead of going down the way I've been. And it's more me than anything else. And I don't know. I just feel really, really, I feel really good. I feel more myself than ever, you know. Um, and it's not just getting over the ex. It's more than that, you know. what I mean, it's just about understanding what my purpose is and how not to let somebody take my power from me. And I always operate in my own power and not in the power of somebody else, you know. Like you, you have to understand that, right? It's always about trying to take your power out of your hands, which is most of the time creating some kind of self-doubt where you're just like always doubting yourself because somebody said something to you that made you doubt yourself. You wouldn't have doubted yourself prior to somebody saying something that made you doubt yourself. You'd be operating your most authentic self. And the only way to make sure that no one can make you doubt yourself is not to listen to people. You know, that way you don't have to worry about agendas or whatever. Right? And then that way people around you also know to be in this person, this man, or this woman's energy, I have to I have to operate a certain kind of way. That's where your standards and your boundaries come into play. Because as an impasse, we don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. And then we don't realize that by trying to avoid hurting others' feelings, we're letting others hurt ours or whatever, which if we're not operating in our most authentic self, how can we help other people? So those boundaries and those standards are highly and highly important and you have to maintain them. Even if you gotta hurt some feelings, right? Now there's ways to like try to phrase things to not hurt people's feelings as much, and I'm working on that, right? When you when you turn them down or tell them no or whatever, but you still gotta maintain your boundaries so you can keep your energy healthy. You have a lot of great energy. You're a natural healer. Your your voice heals people. The way you look at the camera heals people, or the way you look at people heals people. The way you interact with them, the way you move when you speak. You know, all that stuff. It's natural to you and it don't mean nothing to you, but you gotta realize you know, the dream I have, it means a lot to other people. I've had people tell me this stuff somewhat too. But when people tell you stuff, they're gonna like kinda dial it back and not tell you too much. This dream showed me everything. It was like what everybody, how everybody's getting this great energy from me. Like they're just they're they're growing from me and I'm just I need to just not be selfish with my energy because I'm like I want to be the, the person that controls how my energy is received, but God is like, no, he's going to control how my energy is received to other people. So I have to be the vessel. When I say that, I got to be the vessel. I got to be the vessel. I got to let God do what he does and I can't control. So when I see people copying me, mimic, I just got to just let it go because that's the way God, I guess, wants them to interpret me. But it's they're being a better version of themselves, then I guess it doesn't really matter right and it's none of my business so i need to stay in that energy and operate in that energy i'm going to i'm highly blessed i'm highly favored i need not worry about what anybody else is doing energy they get from me you know what i'm saying god will not let me fail i heal myself all the time i heal myself i'll get cuts and stuff i'll get shaving cuts and i'll think about it before i go to bed i'll, I'll rise the next day i'll be healed i'm a healer period and i'm like man I'm able to heal myself. I mean, I mean, I got mauled by a dog, man. I just listen. No nerve damage. Doctor was like, doctor was like, I can't believe it. He hit no nerves. I can. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, y'all, y'all healers, y'all got this. Love y'all. I gotta get off of here. I'll make another video round two. But just understand, I'm operating in my energy now, so y'all can relax. All right, love y'all. Yes, ma'am. We'll do.